my name is Rahil Mujahid and in this video we will discuss the prerequisite for SZ 900 examination so let's start it so basically I have been receiving uh, a lot of queries about I mean uh, what are the prerequisite for SZ 900 examination that is the very fundamental level of examination I mean if you want to start your career in Microsoft Azure then this is the certification that uh, you have to give first right so people have been asking me like I mean I'm from the marketing should I go for the SZ 900 right and uh, I mean if I go there if I if I just uh, uh, schedule my examination then uh, from where I would get the study material and what kind of uh, hands-on I have to perform so these kind of queries I mean I'm getting so we will discuss uh, on these queries so first of all let me mention that SZ 900 for everyone you don't have to be an expert in IT or any kind of programming language or networking, right? It's a kind of a very basics of SEO. So basically, if you are a beginner, no matter, I mean, if you are an HR, if you are a marketing person, if you are from any other field, if you want to switch your career, if you want to start a, start your career in Microsoft Azure, then this, this is the certification that uh, you have to give first, right? So obviously the prerequisite is very simple. You, you just start with the basics of Microsoft Azure. And uh, I would highly recommend Microsoft documentation, the official one. First of all, uh, take out the curriculum from the official website. Once you got the curriculum, then just take it one by one, right? Basically, there is a uh, four to five module. So first, start with the module number one. And whatever topics you are having, um, uh, as per my information, um, the first module is on the cloud computing, the basics of cloud computing, uh, IR services, SaaS services and SaaS services. So you can just search this out. I mean, uh, you can just go for the Microsoft documentation and you can just uh, read out what are the advantages of cloud computing and what is the exact meaning of high availability, what is the meaning of scalability, wh what is region, what is region pairs, what is uh, availability zones. So you must know these kind of small small definition. Yes, you heard me. I'm talking about the definition only. How it works it you you don't need to know in a z 900 just just you have to know that yes what is the exact meaning of this particular word if i talk about as your region so what is that if i talk about about uh, what is the geography so you should know the exact meaning of geography if i talk about what is high availability so you should know what is high availability now how to configure that forget about it because right now we are talking about is the 900 only right so just get to know about these terms scalability high availability and um, i mean uh, what are the tools we are having just to monitor your infrastructure what are the tools we are having just to uh, configure the security right and uh, something like that but you don't have to be an expert in hands-on in practical part no only theory knowledge is enough when we talk about for the AC 900 examination because since we all know this is the basic examination I mean if you want to start your career then this is the first step right so it will it, it it's not it's not very hard it's very very it's very easy yeah so basically if you are aware if you are if you are already aware about microsoft azure so you can just easily crack it right because the questions are very easy but yes if you are a new in azure if you want to if you are just switching your career from any another field into a cloud computing or we can send to microsoft azure then of course you you must need around uh, two or three weeks just to understand the simple simple concept right just to understand the definition and the technical words right so yeah i mean if uh, for the non technical person two or three weeks are more than enough for the sg 900 examination right so of course i mean uh, you should uh, first of all you have to schedule it you have to just uh, choose where you want to give your examination whether on your office or your home or maybe in any uh, other company maybe i mean in any other location because microsoft is having some uh, i mean partnership with third party companies so they provide their own infrastructure and they just keeps on monitoring you so it's up to you where you want to give the certification but yes i mean 
this is the very basics of microsoft you just need to know the simple definition that we use on microsoft azure platform right so uh, obviously about study material microsoft documentation is more than enough right and uh, so i think that's it from my side if you want to know the experience about is the 900 i mean uh, how many questions you would get and um, what is the level of questions and everything so i have shared my own experience in my separate video you can just check it out on my channel and of course and of course uh, before just leaving this video make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so whenever i will upload any video it will be just to show as a notification on your mobile so thank you so much for watching